new year, new beginnings, and a new budget that works. The cash budget is the budget for you if you're looking for a simple, quick way to spend less and save more this year. Or if you've tried other budgeting methods before but couldn't quite stick to any of them for very long. In fact, cash budgeting is what I use with every single one of my clients who comes to me with the phrase, I've tried budgeting before, it just doesn't work for me. Well, it turns out they never tried the cash budget before because it did work for them in the end. By the end of this video, you know how to create a cash budget of your own and see why it works fast to save money for you. And if you're thinking, how hard can this be? I just spend cash. Well, yes and no. Yes, you spend cash, but there are a few very important things to do before spending that cash for your livelihood, your sanity, as well as your budding million dollar nest egg. Hey, Future Millionaire, it's Jennifer Diamond Nest Egg, where we talk all about money and your millionaire journey. Build your wealth, protect your wealth. Let's pretend that your net income after taxes, the amount that actually hits your bank account is $4,000. What you would do first to create your cash budget is figure out what are your fixed expenses. And you would then leave enough money from your paycheck, in this case, from this $4,000 here, in your checking account to cover those fixed expenses. Fixed expenses are the bills that you have to pay no matter what, even if you were to lose your job, such as your rent, utilities, cell phone, health insurance payments, life insurance payments, and minimum debt payments. To keep things simple, I've assumed here that your fixed expenses only include rent, utilities, and your minimum loan payments. You'll see I've also thrown in your emergency fund as a fixed expense because I assume you're paying yourself first. I can't help myself here. This is exactly what we do with our clients. I assume that you're prioritizing your savings before your spending. Paying yourself first is a fundamental pillar of financial success and critical to getting you on that path to millionaire status. Paying yourself first means that whatever your income is, the first expense that should be paid each month is a contribution to your savings account. In this case, your emergency fund here, along with your other fixed expenses. What happens with the cash budgeting method now, after you've set aside money for your fixed expenses, including your emergency fund savings, is that you would withdraw whatever money is left in your checking account and put that cash into separate envelopes. In this example, one envelope would be for groceries, one envelope for transportation, and one envelope for going out. Then you simply divide the money in each envelope by four, and that's the amount of cash you have to spend each week for that category, for groceries, for transportation, and for going out. Again, this is just a simplified example. In real life, instead of one envelope for going out, you could split this into three envelopes, one for eating out, one for entertainment, and one for shopping. Other common envelope categories include clothing, gifts, pet care, housekeeping, and childcare. And this is why the cash budget is also often referred to as cash envelope budgeting, or the cash system. The cash budget is a tried and tested method that I use with all of my coaching clients who tell me they want to save as much money as they can as quickly as they can, or with those who have had trouble with budgeting or overspending in the past. Guys, if you're enjoying this video and like the good looking and simple budgeting tables I've created for you, they take a fair bit of time. Please do give that thumbs up and subscribe a gentle tap. This will get the video out to other future millionaires out there that want to save their millions just a bit faster. And if you're serious about jumpstarting your millionaire journey this year, then drop me a note at jennifer at about one on one financial coaching or join me in our newly reopened Millionaire Masters course. I've included your YouTube discount code for Millionaire Masters below this video. For those of you who are thinking, Jennifer, you're crazy. I'm not carrying around a bunch of envelopes. There is one other way. Instead of putting the cash into envelopes, divide the cash that you have left over after your fixed expenses and your savings, in this case, this $900 here. Divide that 900 by 30 or 31, depending on the number of days there are in that particular month. 
if we assume it's April right now, there are 30 days in April, then you divide your $900 of remaining cash into 30 days, meaning that you'd have $30 cash to spend every day. That's it. No going back to the ATM, no whipping out your credit card and charging things up. Which brings me to the three reasons why the cash budget helps you save money quicker than most other budgeting methods out there. The three big advantages of the cash budget. One, you really can't spend more than you have with the cash budget. Having a set amount of money in an envelope for a certain expense or having a finite amount of cash in your wallet means you'll never run over. You simply spend what's in the envelopes or in your wallet. And as I mentioned earlier, no trips back to the ATM to withdraw more cash, no pulling out the credit card to charge it up. Two, the cash budget is flexible. If you really run out of money in one category, say groceries, you can dip into another category like eating out and just dine out a few times less for the week or the month. This of course assumes that you have money left in the eating out envelope. And if you have money left in any envelope, you can roll that money over to the next week or next month, or even better, put it towards debt repayment or more savings. And remember, there may be envelopes that may not be used every week, like clothing or gifts. So if these seem to be growing to a good amount, you can also stop funding them and put that extra money towards debt repayment or savings. And three, the cash budget makes spending money more painful. Research over the past two decades has shown time and time again that there is something that happens in your brain when you pay cash that does not happen when you pay with credit cards. There's this physical exchange of one thing for another. With a credit card, it's sometimes easy for some folks to convince themselves, perhaps even subconsciously, that they're not spending real money when they charge something on the card. And technically, that's even correct. They're not spending it. Worse, they're borrowing it. Even though they know they'll have to pay their credit card bill at some point, the thought of, oh, I only have to pay a small minimum for this item that costs so much more can help justify the purchase as a bargain. Whereas cash, cash is an actual piece of paper that you can hold, feel, and touch with value attached to it. When you spend it, you are trading one thing for another. You have lost something. You have less of it in your wallet. You see this and process it in your mind and your wallet. In a study done by researchers at Carnegie Mellon, Stanford, and MIT, credit cards were basically found to numb the pain of pain. Carnegie Mellon's professor, George Lovenstein, stated, you swipe the card and it doesn't feel like you're giving anything up to make the purchase. Unlike paying cash, where you have to hand over bills. And in a separate landmark experiment on behavioral economics, two other MIT professors found that when randomly selected participants were offered the opportunity to buy the most sought after, sold out tickets to a professional basketball game, on average, those that were told that they could pay with a credit card were willing to pay more than twice as much as those who were told that they would have to pay with cash. In other words, participants in their study were willing to pay double for the opportunity to buy now and pay later. So if you're truly looking to curb your spending as quickly as possible to start building your million dollar nest egg, or if other budgeting methods haven't worked for you in the past, give the cash budgeting method a shot. If on the other hand, you want to see what other budgeting methods are out there, then check out the budgeting videos on this channel right here. We also have a ton of free budgeting templates that you can download from our website. The link is below this video. Or even better, drop me a note at jennifer at diamondnestic.com for one-on-one -on -one coaching to speed up your millionaire journey faster than you could ever imagine than if you did this alone. Or join me in our signature Millionaire Masters course, completely updated for 2022. I've included your YouTube discount code below as well. Thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll be back next week with another money saving wealth building video for you future millionaire.